How are we doing guys? Welcome back. I thought I'd just do a little bit um, at the beginning of this. Um, just about my last video. <laughs> about me nearly dying. It seems to have upset a few people. Um, thinking, you know, saying it's clickbait. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, the title sounds a bit clickbaity, but like I was showing you with my whole side, I mean, it's still pain now, and I've still got bruises because I actually pulled all my shoulder out. Um, you know, just because I didn't film it and actually post it online, me falling out of a tree from like 15 foot high or so. I mean, lucky enough, there was branches as I fell down the tree to grab hold to, and I sort of just scraped the whole side of my body, my legs and everything, down the tree, coming at speed. Um, but yeah, it seems to have upset a few people. There's always a few Karens. Oh, I, you know, I'm not going to watch you no more because it's click, click. Well, it, you know, I don't get into this politics about it all at all. Like I've said from the beginning, this whole channel is a about a digital diary for my kids. Um, so it's all a bit of fun. Um, you know, we don't get too serious on this channel. You know, we've scraped close with a few little things but at the end of the day it's just about me travelling around um, <coughs> and like someone said oh you're only doing it for the money and stuff <laughs> trust me I mean I'm lucky to earn 20 quid a month out of it and then um, like I say the money I earn out of this goes back to LCAT um, there's things like these you know we have to buy these these are 260 quid then we've got a you know 35 quid a year in short um, uh, fee on them, then you've got a SIM card for the license fees and stuff. These are our digital radios, same as what the police have. Um, it's basically like a digital walkie talkie. Then we've got all the walkie talkies, I've got all my search and rescue kit. Um, so it all gets piled back, that's the whole point. It all gets put back into search and rescue and things I can, you know, put on Millie for, you know, like my rucksacks. That's what I'm desperately saving up for at the moment um, all new search and rescue kit things like walking boots, I ain't got any walking boots at the moment I use my work boots <laughs> but I mean it's so expensive, uh, I could do with a decent rucksack um, one with like a filtration, you know with a water system in it, so a little bit bigger I can carry stuff in um, there's all sorts of bits, I mean it's like the tops, you know they do special like search and rescue tops and um, bits and bobs and the you know the high vis jackets but everything's so expensive you know I need to spend sort of another few hundred quid with on upgrade gear for that um, as you said from the last video I'm not buying a drone <laughs> so after that incident that put me off drones because honestly I, my life did flash when I went then that branch snapped and I f slid down that tree it, honestly I did flash for a minute I, and it sort of seems so slow motion before I hit the fourth floor um, it's just a shame the camera was, was level and not pointing downwards, it would have filled you earlier <laughs> So yeah, it's just a bit of a disclaimer, sorry if it was a bit, you know, sounded a bit clickbaity and, and it didn't show me dying, that, I think that's the problem. It didn't show me getting hurt, that's the problem with social media, everyone wants to see that, don't they? So I do apologise, um, I'll try and die better <laughs> in the next one. <laughs> but. Sorry guys, you know, it, it wasn't done as like a major clickbait thing, you know, obviously we, you do have to, you have to remember with YouTube, it's all this algorithm stuff, and it, I had, just from that one video I got loads more new subscribers, which means a little bit more watch views, I might earn another quid, you know, and then like I say, the money doesn't really go to me, it's going to charity, and it's going to all this equipment, and the upkeep of this equipment, you know, I've got to pay 35 quid a year just for the license on this. Um, you know, because these are proper police search rescue type things. Uh, you know, there's, it's all, all, always stuff. I want some more graphics for the truck. Um, search and rescue, like the magnetic signs on my doors. Uh, I want like the flashing beacons and bits around the truck. But it's just, it's just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. You can just keep spending. Um, unless there's somebody out there <laughs> who wants to sponsor me or something with some flashing lights and stuff like that because winter's coming soon so yeah that's all I just just want to clear that up I didn't want to intentionally upset anyone uh, there was a few replies somebody actually did if you post a reply on the YouTube 
it is set up for swear words. Um, it was already it was on there when I got it. So if you do swear, it doesn't post it for some reason. It's not me. I never remove anything. In fact, YouTube do, but I can see the post. But when I click on it, I can't read. It. It's not on the list because um, I got quite a rude swear one. F this, F that, because of the clickbait. So, well, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> anyway, enjoy, guys. Um, and we'll see you soon. Good morning, guys. Welcome back. Right. Just finished work. So, I've just done my night shift. Last one. So, six o'clock in the morning. So, I've just moved. Um, if you don't know, I've just moved around the corner. So, this is where I am. It's in a lorry park. So, there's only one lorry here and the rest like this bus they have buses here that are ready for the school kids so yeah just around the corner from work so come here get a few hours kip get up at dinner and then we're going on something new this well new for me anyway <laughs> and it costs money unfortunately but um i found out this is going on with my little story about alternative park ups um, and with the, you know, this whole van life fight against us, you know, for parking. <coughs> and I'm looking for alternative type car parks. So, um, one was like events and stuff like that, which I've just got myself booked into. Um, that's for end of the month. So, I'm heading up Yorkshire way. Uh, me and the kids are on holiday from when they finish school. So I've got like 10 days break then and then 10 days in August um, to help the ex-wife out with, you know, with schooling and stuff like that and so she can get to work. So yeah, I've got ourselves booked into a steam rally, you know, with the old big vintage um, steam tractors, uh, big drift field one, all for free. Uh, three or four days, free camping, free entry for me and the kids. What more can you ask for? So again, you know, going back, alternative car parking. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I am lucky because of the truck. Because they, they had a big list of uh, classic cars, classic lorries, vintage, bit of everything, military. Well, my truck comes in all that, which is pretty lucky. So, I mean, you know, some of these alternative car parks is not for everyone. Like the one I'm going to try tonight. So in my town, we've just got our first air opened up um, with the group Campra. If you know about them, uh, they're the ones fighting for, you know, all over the UK is to open up these little airs. Um, it's not the cheapest. It's 10 quid a night, but for five pound a night, you can use all the services. So, um, for five pounds, sorry, not a night, but 10 quid, you get everything, um, in a safe compound. Um, so we're going to try it tonight, um, and I'll video it all and we'll see what they get. You know, there's water, there's apparently even Wi Fi, there's everything there, and it's in a cattle market. Now, I'm not sure because Friday's a cattle market day, so I'm not sure. Oh, I'll be up anyway, but I might be woken up with lots of trailers and, and farmers tomorrow coming to market, so. But yeah, it got publicised them. You know, if you don't use them, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna lose. So, but like for me, if I'm desperate, I need water. I need to empty my tanks, anything like that. Fiver, it's not the end of the world. Um, and most van lifers, if they're really struggling and they need to refill, need, you know, like say the toilets and everything else, you know, it, it's there. Um, so yeah, we'll do some filming of that. And also, I have a little present in my truck. Way, a new fuel tank has come. She's a little bit bigger. <laughs> Mine is about there. So that I've got about four. I think it's forty odd liters more. I didn't go for the big two hundred and ten liter one, um, which I could have done. I'm never going to fill it. That's the problem. Um, and I also I've got to be careful on weight and stuff like that. So I went for the 168 litre tank. Um, hopefully it's all plug and play. 
just got to do on the top here where the all the pipes fit just gonna have some brackets different um fittings made um and then just put onto the truck so fingers crossed i can get it done before my holidays but i'm gonna get that dropped off at the truck garage today um i know what i do need i do need someone who wants to be my friend and be, and be my lorry mechanic to save me some money because <laughs> it's a uh, yeah, this lorry like it's getting a bit pricey some of these jobs this isn't going to be a cheap job unfortunately um yeah i'd say it's gonna be a good few hundred quid problem is you know it's like 45 quid an hour plus parts and stuff like that um yeah i need someone who's handy with lorries um but it's an awkward one because the parts they can get them all made up quickly around the corner so, hopefully it's done fairly cheap and then it's a bit more money for holidays. So, right, time to get the dog for a walk. Oh, it's echoing that tank in here. And, uh, yeah, we'll film going when we go to this uh, new park up, um, this new air. Hey, good morning. I'm all up. God, I need an air cut. <laughs> um, so yeah, going on with alternative park ups. So I've just got myself booked into this air. Now this is in Louth, Lincolnshire. It's brand new. Um, officially, it's open the first of August. Um, that's when it's like she's saying on the phone. Um, all the proper signage will be up and all that sort of thing. So just a few little tips. Um, you can find this on search for sites um you can download the app um which is quite handy actually i used to have it a long time ago but um i don't seem to anymore so yeah it quite it shows quite a lot of campsites and bits and bobs so that's stage one uh there is a phone number on there which i'll i'll give you that's 01507 350500 now threw me a bit because it went to Masons, which were like estate agents. So you want option three, which is the cattle market. And a lovely lady on there, she'll go through the details. Um, so they take your payment. At the moment, it's debit visa um, on debit cards they like. It's five pound for services and 10 pound for everything. There's waste and everything there, storm drains all over the site, you can just pull over, drop your waste. Um, black waste, she did say, which I'm looking if I'm okay, um, won't be available until the first at the moment, they're just sorting up the toilets, um, but, but for dumping or something is, is not available tonight for me, um, for any black waste, um, but it will be, so just point out, it is there and uh she gave me the code there is a big metal gate um you can lock up at night for the whole site and she, i've got a code for that she's just about to email me all the information and just another thing to put down it's for booking in you only have to do it between nine and five p nine in the morning till 5 p.m at night um, because they're office hours, so obviously if you get there late and you're trying to book in, it's not, you're not going to get in, I suppose. So there must be a way around that, I would say. So, but yeah, so all booked in. We're going to do the night there. Um, no limit when I can leave tomorrow, as long as I don't stay. But it says if you do want to stay, just let them, let them know and stay. Um, email me the details with a map plan and where the water is. Apparently you need a longish hose. Um, I think she said over 25 metres, which is fine. I've got a, a 200 metre one. No, 200 foot one. So, yeah, we'll fill up my tanks and don't need to do my grey waste. That's already done. And my toilet, I've been at work all week, so I haven't really used it. So I can do mine at work on Sunday night when I get back anyway. But, um, yeah, it's just getting these sort of different places and support like this sort of place because now i know if people want to come to this area i can give them that one option even if you're full timer sometimes you can you know you pay that one fee do all your business and stuff it's not the 
nicest feed, but we all, you know, we all like a free park up. But um, just now and again, it got to really, and because this is a totally different thing, this is going to be an air for campers. I think it's more we need to support it, because um, you can't just do it at you know a lot of campsites don't seem to do it. I've rang around a few, asked them if I can just do services, and not interested. So there you go. Right, we'll show you. Here we go. Here's the entrance. Uh, Mason's livestock. Uh, this is where the water is at the side of us. These are the gates that got a code on them, and you get given the code so you can lock this up. And basically, you can park anywhere around the edge of this whole place. Um, about a, they reckon there's about a hundred they can accommodate in here. So, yeah, just take your picking. I mean, it's a big enough place. Um, looks like we're the only camper. So I'll just go around the outside and just work out where's a nice little spot. I know over there is the entrance down to town. Uh, this is where water is apparently somewhere here, so we're gonna do a look. But uh, yeah, it's all fenced off down there. So we'll do a little spin yeah, around. It's all parked up. Just parked her up there for now the old place to myself so <laughs> if I need to move it can I'm just gonna do a recce now find out where all the other bits are and then uh, obviously if anyone else watches this you know exactly where to go that's where I've just tucked her in There's plenty of room as you can see um, anywhere around here really I mean there's some lots of little spots I just want to keep away from the road a little bit Here's the storm drains I was talking about all these are in connect all connected so they're dotted around so they said just pull up and drop them and drop your waist down there so somewhere there's a tap here let's go and have a so look i think i found the tap but there's no it needs a special key by the looks of it for that one um so yeah i don't know can't see don't know so yeah, that's a strange one. So we haven't got a key for that. It needs one of them like radiator keys. Tap update, they've got back to me. Um, bit of a problem with their pump. They haven't actually fitted a proper one in yet, but hidden behind there is a tap. <laughs> so there you go. So I would, all I need to do is just move my truck to this gate here and I have got a 200 foot hose if I need it so this gate's open so this is another entrance as well so we have it. I don't know if they padlock that up at night but anyway it's open in the daytime so that's where we are um yeah yeah it's apologetic they're just um their plumber who was supposed to fit one didn't fit one something to do with and um, he thought it was a problem with it. But, like they say, as it's not officially open till the 1st of August, um, they're going to be putting in a better tap. Because obviously they're still learning, you know. They don't really understand what trucks and campers need, so... So, yeah, like I say, that's the original tap where it's over there. Which you can just back straight up, and you just need a little bit of a length of pipe. But, um, I would say they'll probably end up having one plumbed to the side of one of these walls somewhere because um, this building will have water and they'll just run a tap to the outside wall for campers can pull up close by then I would say well like I say I'm not too worried I've got half a tank of water plenty for me for showers and everything I can get this shopping put away yeah so there you go, that's Louth Cattle Market Air. Um, like I say, loads of room. Um, I just had to try it, it's right on my doorstep, silly not to. And like I've just said, you know, if I had a little problem from, you know, with the, the water taps and stuff, that other one was just not powerful enough, there's nothing on there. So obviously, I don't know if other people have filled up here yet, but 
and as I say they're not officially open only a few people have stayed here so it gives them a bit of the thought what to look for and sort out so thumbs up we'll see how we get on tonight um, I'm in a fairly level spot I did move it and backed it up to the fence because Friday I don't know if it's market day I don't know what it's like here now I don't know if it's every Friday and it could be rammed full of uh, four befores and cattle and everything so I thought well I better put myself in a good spot right so I've sent them an email just to confirm about that water but I've just noticed there's this here it's very that's very poor <laughs> not a lot of power in it but there's a pipe there but um, obviously not proper fittings or anything. I have got something that might fit that, but that's going to take a long time to fill my tank. And uh, that's all I can find. I think that could be the one. Uh, I hope not. It's a bit poor, that one. So, yeah. Is there any bins? That's another thing. Is there any bins here? Maybe not. There's a green bin there, but... I don't think that's connection with anything here. That's it, a bit more. It's a green one, so it's, it's green waste. No, it's got stuff in it. Maybe it is then. Okay, a bit more investigation. So I've just found the entrance to get out of here if you want to get into town. So, I'll spin you around. So I'm over there. So if you come right down in this far corner, there's some little steps up there and this pathway it goes all the way along and it, it literally it's just over there um, straight into town um, so there you go straight down there there is um, dog, dog poo bins as well on there so I've just emailed them about that tap apparently they said there should have been a tap put on that end um, that second one we looked at so I don't think um, I'm going to get a photograph of it and email them back um, it's just bits they need to sort of look at. I mean, I'm okay because I can fill up at work, but the whole point of coming here and paying the money was to use their services. Um, so I'm not using work. So, you know, at least it's, a, it's another park up if I need one for emergency. I mean, it's not one I'm going to use a lot, but. You know, it's just handy for other people, especially when there's um, events on in the area and people have come to out. You know, there's a spot right in the town centre. I mean, literally, just got one little hill, just, well, just, just behind me. Uh, basically, like I say, just here, there's just a hill called Aswell Street, and that takes you straight to the heart of the town centre. So really close. Um, if you've got a big truck like me, you can't get parked anywhere in town or the car parks. So, yeah, it's handy to know. Sorry about the ending, cutting a bit short there. Should have uh, finished off. Um, I know it, it was quite a long video actually, so I've sort of split it up because I went on to another um, area after that. So yeah, that air, it's lay off Lincolnshire. If you go on search for sites, um, it's on the map, it's on there. Um, it, I think it's classed as an air as well, if I remember rightly. Uh, click on all the phone numbers there literally when you phone it'll go through to Mason's uh, they're a state agent I think they are type thing they control of it uh, it was option three it come up cattle market you need to press and just speak to the lady there and you can pay straight over the phone um, now you have to be careful because I think I've said this already but it's nine till five Monday to Friday so you can ring in advance, pay in advance, and then um, just turn turn up. They email you everything you need to know with pictures and signs. And like I say, 1st of August, it's officially open. So the tap will be on, it's going to be put on one of the side walls. And uh, it'll all be marked on the, on the paperwork you get sent to you in the email. So yeah, that's it guys. That's the first new one in Lincolnshire, first air. So class is an official one really. So and if you park anywhere on the outside of the place, um that's fine. So take care and we'll see you the next one. And we're gonna be at a Wings and Wheels. Um where Millie was on the show at a it was a friend's 
event not far just local where it's like a an airfield so they had aeroplanes and classic cars and all sorts so check it out see you later